Hi, thank you very much from Douglas Tackle World here for this week's fishing report, the 17th, 18th and 19th of March, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hey, um, Stewie's at Barramundi fishing, so I'm on my own, guys, so put up with me, sorry about that. Um, so I can't do any bantering tonight. Anyhow, I'll get back to him when he gets back. So guys, I'll tell you what's happening. Um, offshore, so the weather this weekend looks really good, like, I mean really good. So you got like 10 knots uh, tomorrow, Saturday, or tomorrow's 10 to 15, a little bit of wind. 10 knots on Saturday, all day variable. Sunday is 10 knots in the morning, picking up to 15, sort of around lunchtime, a bit after. So it's really good. Um, the current is still, at the moment, up to yesterday, it was still, still nothing or trickling a bit north, but um, I looked at the current charts, it's meant to come in, it was meant to come in early in the week, but it still hasn't got any, but it looks like it'll start trickling south in the next day or two, okay? Um, I went down to Mermaid Beach on uh, yesterday morning and got a few uh, spotties they were on pretty good um, we rocked up right on daylight the seaway was actually was cracking across believe it or not but it was um about two and a half on the sets yesterday morning on the run out tide so it was a bit iffy uh right on on daylight um but we just had to wait and then the lull and go for it but be careful uh, but the swell at the moment is has dropped quite considerably it's sort of like three quarters of a meter and 1.2 on the set so it's half what it was the other day um, when we come back in on the low tide, just starting to run in um, on the, uh, yesterday morning, it was pretty calm. Like the swell already started to drop off. Um, so what we did, we got out there, we're trolling these the rigs that we showed you last week. We're trolling these uh, with um, pilchards, so really good. And um, then we switched to doing a bit of spinning. Um, I only lost a couple on spinning, never got any in. But then we switched just on little lures like so. And then we switched to um, to bait fishing just on two snelled hooks on wire. So any any wire, preferably single strand, oh not single strand, sorry, multi-strand in that uh, 18 to 30 pound mark, um, you can do like a snell knots on a hook easily. And then you make it quite short and then you do a perfection loop on the swivel, on the swivel end. Okay, and um, so we're running that light wire 230, I use Chinto hooks, they're really good hooks, they're very sharp. Uh, two Chinto 30 hooks, and then I use a size 6 or a size 5 black crane swivel at the top, and the lead is only about that long, and the hooks are about that far apart. So, half a pilchard, three quarters of pilchard, cast it out. Um, the other day, when there's no wind, it just sunk to the bottom, and the fish were down deep, they were down on the bottom, okay? They did come to the top at one stage, just when you get them on the lures, or, um, or you throw your, your bait out. And then seconds that'll be screaming off. And there was a bit of mayhem in there for half an hour, and everybody could see it around when it's hooked up. Um, plenty of spotted mackerel. Okay, so they'll be there again, Mermaid Beach Reef. Um, I dare say this weekend, 100%. Um, it will be a bit of a later bite period, but uh, it's actually quite a good one. So you're probably looking around about that sort of um, yeah, 6 till 8 o'clock in the morning. So I'll give that a crack. Um, the other thing that's happening is snapper. The snapper have been off and on. They need that bit of side leg current to really come on the tube. Um, I'd be definitely going out with some dokan jigs or um, catchy catchies or whatever it might be, this sort of thing here. Uh, or that type of thing with a pilly on it. You can see that, they're great. Uh, and fishing pillies um, or this type of thing, that catchy catchies type thing. Um, on your close reefs and just slow pitch jigging it okay really soft tip rod light braid p1 to 3 and and just drop it down the bottom just a little bit of a jiggle and just a slow lift up and take the slack up and uh, you'll get you'll get some really good uh, stamper if they're on the chew otherwise soft plastics work all right as well as will float on in pillies at the back um, the other thing would be micro jigs so micro jigs are really really good um, we've got these new ones in these blue water jigs um, that right down to uh, 15 gram micro jigs of twin assists if you can see that these things are really good like they're less than ten dollars to you guys uh, these are a little bit dearer but not much dearer a bit bigger size they work really well uh, casts are, do a great job as well they're a bit, bit um, higher quality they're really good as well give them a go so just micro jig and same technique as using these fellows okay uh, next thing I do is um, in this is maybe have a troll for some wahoo or yellowfin tuna. There's been a few around around that 50 metre line, 45 metres, 50 metres, and a few out wider in about sort of 36 fathom area. Give that a go as well.
the other thing too would be um, to go down to um, Nine Mile Reef and have a crack down there for some wahoo on high speed skirter lures. Um, it's a good tide in the morning this weekend. Give that a go as well. And if you're feeling a bit adventurous, um, you can go down to Windara Banks. There's plenty of yellowfin down there as well. Sort of halfway between Tweed Heads and Brunswick Heads. Do re please remember that the Spanish mackerel closure is still on as we speak until the 23rd, okay? Um, if you want to go fishing wide this weekend, because the weather's good and the current's not too bad, um, it might be worth having a crack for some uh, deep dropping for pearlies or, or flamies or stuff like that using this type of rig here. Um, we've got all the gear here for you guys and we can show you how to go and where to go and um, how to do it. We've got, um, I think we've got around about 11 different electric reel models in stock at the moment uh, in re electric reels. All the rods, all the gear to go with it, so we can help you out there as well. Um, we've got some of the new Diver Leo Ritz as well in 300 and 500 size, our little reels. Still hold about 400 metres of PE5, or actually 700 metres of PE3, I think they hold. Um, so you can still deep drop with it and deep jig with it. Um, they're very compact, okay? And with electric batteries to go with it. <laughs> very big. Um, so offshore, spanner crab is the other thing I'd, I'd have a crack at in that sort of 46 meter line, um, inside, uh, or opposite sort of Q1 area, but inside the 50 meter line, and a bit closer, okay? Give that a go. That'd be worth a go as well, and the big crabs at the moment. We're actually doing a seminar next Thursday, next week, um, on the 23rd on how to catch spanner crabs in the store here as well as mud crabs, sand crabs and prawns. So if you want to book in for that, give the shop a call tomorrow and we'll book you in. Give that a go. Okay, um, and guys, I probably had the broadwater now, not the jumping pin. So jumping pin, um, the prawns have started definitely. They're around the uh, Logan River mouth, not the Logan, a bit further. Um, there's been odd patches here and there in some of the holes, uh, but they're definitely in the Logan at the moment. They're quite good size as well. We've got all the cast nets. We've actually got quite a few good uh, Carsten, so you've got a chain one that's 12 foot um, that started off around about your price around sort of in that, um, well, they're 35% off anyhow. <laughs> the price is right, okay? Uh, so I'll give that a go. Um, that just, and uh, the mud crabs in the uh, same area, Logan River's been really good, Jacob's Well's been really good, and down around the Pimpama has been not too bad, as in Coomera and further down Coombar Creekway. Apparently, Coombar Creek's going to come on the chew the last sort of week or two. Um, there's been a few widening around Kalinga Bank and a few widening also around uh, the uh, bit further back towards the older shots actually where the um, North Arm Coomer comes out there's been quite a good spot there just on the, either side of the entrance to the North Arm of the Coomer Yabbies is to go there guys or worms, worms not too bad um, other than that jumping pins a few tail around not many but a few and definitely jewies on the end of Swan Bay where it comes out into the out of the green zone, of course, uh, when it comes out into the jump pin bar area. Um, down this way in the broad border, there's been a future valley and a few other uh, quality fish up around Sovereign all the way through to the North Arm of Coomera in the deep channel there. Um, just dro dropping little micro jigs along there, soft plastics all works quite well. Quite a few flatties around crab. They've been taken because obviously the prawns are running, guys, so try and use stick with the sort of shrimp pattern, whether it be um, in gulps or whatever it might be uh, we have them all here the whole lot uh, all different brands of prawn type uh, lures but that's the go at the moment just slow twitch take up slack slow twitch and that's what will catch you big flatties at the moment um, back away break plenty of white in there and also the banks opposite um, the sort of aqua building and the grand area has been not too bad live yabbies again and fishing no sinker and fishing that high tide early morning very, very early, right on da daylight. Good tide up behind the banks. Um, Rang River has been fishing really well as well, up around um, the art centre there, um, the old council chambers, but mainly night time or late afternoon, okay? Give that a go. Uh, beach worms work fine up there, as do worms, and you get a few on yabbies as well. Uh, if you're land-based, I would always, always say fish up that foreshore between Bigger Creek and Chara Seafood. That's got a good spot as well. For whiting and over on the spit uh, where the rock wall ends uh, in the broadwater side all the way down to the point there fishing there early morning late afternoon yabbies and worms are very good as well on the surf um, there's only a little swell there's not much wind so that's worth a crack this weekend as well um, you can catch your own beach worms over there and go and uh, catch some dart and whiting and, and seabrim 
I haven't heard of many tail off the surf, but it might be worth having a go with this uh, conditions that are really good. And uh, give that a go. And off the seaway wall, there's been a few little tuna, little uh, bonito, and the odd trevally as well. Uh, in the seaway, there's been a few good chewies, and um, you'll probably get jacks as well. And jacks at the, uh, the canal's been really good, so let's try up around uh, Runno Bay, around the canals there, and also Paradise Point. Um, also around sort of um, Paradise Waters or further up um, towards Banal Way, um, where the Banal Canals are, that would be worth a crack as well. Broadbridge's not too bad, but I haven't heard much there. If you travel out there though at night time, are in the casino area, so if you want to get there with surface lures and have a go at night time, might be worth a go. Um, if you want to troll for jacks, troll at rock walls and stuff like that, the Jester lures are really, really good. These fellows here, I'll give them a go. They'll work really well. Um, yeah, give that a go. I haven't heard of any squid yet. If you have any squid, let me know, please, guys. I haven't heard of the squid, but I haven't tried yet, okay? Um, the other thing that would be happening in the broad water, um, it would probably be worth a go if you want to try for some um, like thready type salmon. Um, we're getting sort of the latest phase for catching in, in our area at the moment. Um, try around any of the river mouse, as in the Coomera or uh, Pimpama or Logan, and wherever you've got flats, mud flats where the rivers come out, on the high tide or the rising tide, that's where you catch them there. And fish with fives, soft fives, okay? Or this type of thing here, like like the um, Samaki by Lucius. Give those a go. They're quite good. Hard delicious, sorry. They do the vibe delicious as well, which we got the softer vibe. Um, okay, up the freshwater, I haven't heard much at the moment, but there will be heaps of bass in the dam because the barometer is rising. Um, it's humid, it's perfect for them. Um, again, everyone that they use uses shrimps for bait, they want to catch them on bait, so I'd be definitely trying like MND splash prawns, that type of thing there, and jerking that around all of the um, sort of weedy areas in the um, in that sort of system. Um, on, I like the, actually the eastern arms, so I put it in much of our side, and I'm going to head south up towards the timber and give that a go on the hidden stamp. Otherwise, plenty of um, tilapia around most of the creeks uh, and areas sort of Rabina uh, and um, back up towards Carrara area. Give that a go. Okay, so don't forget, seminar next week. We're doing it on um, crustaceans, crabs, all types, uh, spanner crabs, mud crabs, sand crabs, and also prawns with GPS marks as well for all the above. So go give it a crack. We'll be here. You can book it in tomorrow. Just call the shop on 0755. 638746. Um, don't forget to follow us on our YouTube and Instagram pages, and uh, it's everything here at Douglas Tucker World, just behind um, Harbour Town off Brisbane Road, Labrador. Thank you, bye.